Um, we've just set out on another game drive for the afternoon. Another glorious afternoon as you can see. Not a breath of wind. Beautiful skies. And a little surprise just off the bat. Just as we were heading out of camp, we stumbled onto this herd of buffalo. So you'd notice we've got a herd here, it's a mixed group, males and females. And there's a little calf in the front there, you may have noticed that. But this indicates to us that we have a breeding herd here. Breeding herd is a mix of bulls and cows and offspring. Having an afternoon siesta, ruminating, meaning chewing the cud. Bovitz Buffalo and cows have four chambered stomachs, so they regurgitate some of their food, rechew it, and then swallow it again to continue the digestive process. A ruminant stomach is very effective in absorbing or maintaining or taking as much nutrients from the grass as possible. They'd be getting mobile again in maybe another half an hour or hour or so just relaxing you can see some lying down you see some looking at us very relaxed we've been very fortunate uh, I've just had a call some other guides have alerted us of the presence of some lion not far from here so what we're going to do is we're going to move along and go and see what's happening there where the lions are So you'll notice as we go along, you may see some puddles of water everywhere. We're quite fortunate in that we've had good rains in the last week or so. A total of about 20 millimeters in this area. Late April, very good to get rain this late. On top of the good season we've had, we're definitely going to have a relatively good winter. Okay, so here we are. Always nice to find lion, very exciting. 
and even though most people won't admit it's probably the icon of most of the animals that they'd like to see in the bush. We're very lucky thanks to our good friends next door letting us know that they're here. You can see these animals are uh, very full. There's also a smell here so I'm pretty sure there is a kill of sorts here. I don't see anything for the moment, but uh, with bellies like that, uh, mm. definitely a good indication that they've made a kill and that they've fed. It's late afternoon now, about 5 o'clock, so potentially very early this morning, late last night. You can see these lions are getting up now, starting to head towards the water. Whoop. <laughs> late afternoon, getting up, belly full. Going for some water and obviously getting playful as well. You can see the young sub-adult there. They're always the one causing the problems or the trouble. Leaping, jumping onto the others. Look how they carefully walk on the left hand side where the grass cover is there to avoid the mud. So even though they've just rolled around in a dead animal, they're trying to avoid not getting mud on their feet. Typical cats.
Okay, what a fortuitous uh, sighting. Um, really enjoyable to see the line, and I think more than, uh, more importantly than uh, than anything, is it's always nice to see them move. Initially, when they're lying there, it's good enough, but uh, when they get up and they start getting active, start getting playful, drinking water, and then in the end there, you saw lots of social grooming going on there, which is very typical of the big cats, and it also signifies that. Uh, they'll be getting a lot more active now going into the evening but they're well fed very happy I don't foresee that they'd go too far this evening as they don't really need to unless they're uh, bombarded by a herd of elephants or something that will uh, cause them to move away so very good sighting for us to end the uh, afternoon game drive